March 2024 didn't really have much to offer when it came to new MMOs. We got the demo for Vindictus Defying Fate, which was actually pretty fun. Dual Revolution was absolutely trashed by anyone and everyone online, and other smaller games nobody really cared about. April looks to be a little better, however, with releases, demos, and test phases nobody saw coming, and many of us have been actively anticipating. Hey, my name is Takes, and welcome back to another episode of MMOs Releasing Next Month, a video series I do every single month where I take the time to make you aware of everything releasing in the coming 30 days in an effort to make sure you don't miss out on anything. If you enjoy the series, make sure to like the video, leave a comment letting me know what you're most excited for. Subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, that way, you don't miss anything that I post, and I post a lot. If you're curious what came out last month or at any point this year, consider checking out any video in this series. Before discussing every MMO coming in April, I wanna take a moment here to thank today's sponsor, Immortal Rising, an extreme idle action RPG featuring a beautifully unique dark fantasy graphical style, high quality abilities, crazy monsters, and more. They're holding their very first global anniversary right now with special login bonuses for logging in every single day, rewards for taking part in challenges and quests, limited time events. So if this looks like something you might be interested in trying, I urge you to click that link in the description and the pinned comment below and come on over and download the game. You'll get to experience a dark, beautiful world, a variety of different weapon and fighting styles, swords, daggers, bows, and magic. There are guilds, guild wars, raids, daily events you can receive rewards from simply by logging in each day and taking a few minutes of your time. And the best part, you get to choose whether to play the game and how long to play the game for. That is the fun of idle RPGs. Log in for five minutes to acquire your rewards for the day or play for five hours. With the special anniversary login bonus active and a plethora of rewards to obtain, there is absolutely no better time than right now to jump into the game and start your adventure. And you can do so by clicking that link below. Now let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna go ahead here and start this off with Sky Children of the Light because it's currently holding a demo right now. I couldn't find information concerning the end of the demo date, but this is an enormous award-winning MMO that has a very important focus on social aspects, exploration, puzzle solving, just becoming enthralled in the world. It has a stunning soundtrack, beautiful aesthetic, fun gameplay. It's already released onto Switch, but is launching onto PC this year, and I cannot wait. The demo has been an absolute blast to play and seeing so many other players running around playing it as well, just interacting and helping each other out brought back the sense of community in MMOs that I think they've been missing recently. You should try it out if you have a chance. PAX Day is an upcoming sandbox MMO that, when announced, created quite a bit of buzz because it's one of the few real good-looking Western MMOs with any kind of potential. Even if it doesn't release until 2037, the studio held an alpha test just a few months ago and players had a lot of fun. There were a plethora of bugs, crashes, and all of this was expected. Uh, thankfully, players didn't take it too seriously and continued just playing, having fun understanding the purpose of an alpha test. As of March 21st, the studio confirmed that they are holding a second alpha test beginning on April 23rd, lasting a full week. Their goal is to allow at least 100,000 players into this test phase, including those who obtained access to the first one, so make sure you're signed up. Work noting is that the second alpha test will have a much more significant focus on combat than the first, overhauling many aspects that weren't present in the previous test phase. Before we discuss the remainder of MMOs launching in March 2024 though, allow me to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. Your guys' support is why I can continue to make videos like this every single month and I deeply appreciate you all being there for me. I've been eagerly anticipating Age of Water ever since it was first announced. It looked like a very unique title, offering a sandbox world centered around the ocean, very little in the way of land masses, man-made towns floating atop man-made platforms, city raiding, pillaging, lots of PvP. In theory, it has a lot of very cool aspects that admittedly will not appeal to too large of an audience, and that is perfectly fine. But in the short term, this could be a lot of fun to play. It has a playable demo available right now. Mrs. Stiggs actually played almost an hour of it, but more importantly, it has an early access release scheduled for April 18th. 
do note that while this seems a lot like a PvP game, it isn't is confirmed to be a PvE game at heart with optional PvP, but there will still very likely be a lot of griefers abusing PvP either way as they always do. Age of Water is also buy to play, requiring a single time purchase. We're no stranger to the Quinfall, the drama surrounding the game, the weird, grandiose promises and store-bought assets they use to create their game, and while there are countless red flags and significant criticism for the studio developing the game, they're still continuing to press onwards, beginning with a closed beta test, this time with no NDA present. Admittedly, it is unconfirmed when specifically this test phase will take place, however, it is speculated to be happening very, very soon with registration open for anyone interested in participating. They're opening the game up to 10,000 players total. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how this game evolves. Eternal Tombs joins the list of games releasing a closed beta test of sorts in April, specifically targeting the main hub of the world, the starting zones of South Mere, Woodland Commons, and Tradeport. The goal of this beta test is to allow players to experience events, fight numerous enemy types, explore dungeons, craft, and complete quests with a maximum level cap of 10. It doesn't seem as though there will be a cap on maximum players, as they confirmed the beta test releasing April 2nd will allow players to merely just request access to the game via Steam. This isn't the only test plan for the game, rather, they've confirmed they plan on holding additional test phases every month moving forward. Abyss Online is an MMO that I covered a couple months ago. I discussed its very shady history and recommend you definitely watch and do ample research before investing any time or money into this. Regardless, Abyss Online is confirmed to not only be releasing this year, in 2024, but they're also opening up early access on April 18th. The game is far enough through the development process that they're actively allowing players to fully pre-purchase and play the game. And finally, Bitcraft, an MMO that does genuinely look like it has some potential as opposed to some of the games in this list, revealed a brand new trailer for their game, and not only does it look better than ever, they announced that they'll be holding their very first closed alpha test beginning on April 2nd. You can sign up for the alpha test if you're interested, registration has been open and available for a long while now. I'm very excited to see what happens with Bitcraft because it is an MMO that immediately caught my attention when it was first revealed. And that is all seven MMOs that I'm aware of that are releasing in some form and are playable in April 2024. There's a lot to be excited for and some that we're gonna wanna immediately pass on, but hopefully April provides you something to have some fun in. Again, if you're interested, I urge you to check out the videos on screen right now for more MMO goodness.